Now to be clear, the Scout is built by Ariane Labs, a Canadian drone firm. Daytron and its reps like Chris work with Ariane on the supply side of the chain. Chris Barter is a drone dealer. The Scout is the flagship UAV in Daytron's suite of tactical robotics. Take one look at its size, and it's pretty clear that the Scout is nothing more than a surveillance system. It can fly at speeds up to 30 miles per hour. It's fully operational from negative 22 to 122 degrees Fahrenheit, and it can withstand wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour. It's a compact, capable machine, and has been sought after by the likes of NOAA, the U.S. Coast Guard, and FEMA. Uh, is there anything that, uh, you know, that, that you can give me a chance of flying uh, and uh, yeah, I'm not sure, something like that? After Chris closes the deal, he invites us back to Daytron's headquarters, just outside of San Diego. In addition to drones, he promises there's going to be some pretty decent surfing. guy. There's not much that makes me tick out there. Um, outside of bad driving and bad surfing. Would you ever use a scout to shoot some pretty gnarly big wave surfing footage? Oh, absolutely, man. That's actually one of my dreams is to take it out to Pipeline or Waimea. So even though Chris exudes the calculating precision of a drone capitalist, he's a surfer dude at heart, and maybe even a drone hobbyist. And he isn't the only one who views drones as being a whole lot more than killers and spies. This is Justin Wellender. Notice those goggles he's putting on. Those allow for what's known as first-person viewing. 